like an animal stuck in a cage and I'm ready to break out My time, my time, none of you people can tell me to stop This time, like the last time, you better get ready to race in the top I'm ready to do this, show you what the truth is I step on the field, it's time to get real, I'm feeling so ruthless My time, my time, none of you people can tell me to stop Lower the lights down, hand over my crown So what are you afraid of? Those feelings are made of Get in the game, your moment of fame Show them what you made of It's time that we stand up It's time that we man up For anyone asking who is the best We putting our hands up My time, my time Nothing can keep me from reaching the top This time, like the last time I'm moving so fast, I'm ready to I'm ride I'm ready to throw down It's time for the show down I'm ready to rise Don't be surprised, I'll take on the world now My time my time, none of you people can tell me to stop Lower the lights down, hand over my crown Hand over my heart, I do this for my town I do this for my crowd, so turn me up real loud My time, my time, none of you people can tell me to stop My time, my time, none of you people can tell me to stop My town, my crown, we know what it takes to be reaching the top We're reaching the top, we're reaching the top we know what it takes to be reaching the top My time, my time None of you people can tell me to stop My town, my crown We know what it takes to be reaching the top We're reaching the top
we have to do here right now. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Gary Legvold, boy does that guy like to make us laugh at practice, um, a guy that wants to do well, worked hard for four years and uh, became a real solid presence for us in the paint as we uh, went down to him a lot and he was good on the offense and on the defensive end, uh, made so many awesome imp imp improvements that um, really um, was a big key part of our success this year. Um, and, and Gary really improved in all areas of, of life this year on and off the court and um, he's going to have some great years ahead of him and we, we wish him nothing but the best. Thanks Gary. Brandon Bonk, what a tremendous player to have in our program. A guy that works hard, is on time, does great in the classroom. Um, he put in his time as freshman, 10th grade, and junior year, played a little bit of JV and varsity last year and played a lot more minutes this year. Varsity most of the time being our six man off the bench. He was a sharp shooter, a great passer, and just an overall tremendous teammate. Never complained about anything. Even if his day was going bad or maybe didn't like something that was going on in practice, you never heard it from him. Um, he was just a tremendous all around student athlete um, that's gonna do great things in the future and we wish nothing uh, but the best for Brandon as he moves on past Concordia. Thomas Connolly. Thomas decided uh, he, he was going to take his junior year off and we were so glad he was able to come back this year and uh, to play for us. Um, Thomas knew coming back into the season that he's going to have to work really hard to uh, get some minutes on the court and I love the fact that he worked hard at all times, never complained, and uh, had a smile on his face, which made me really happy to see because um, it brings great joy not only to see these kids graduate from Concordia, but also to finish Concordia Academy basketball. And um, he got some good minutes, and uh, he got his first start of his high school career this year. And uh, we were glad to have Thomas back. I've known him since he's been little, and uh, I wish nothing but the best for Thomas as uh, he moves on to a bigger and better things. Brace Paul, boy, he had a tough and interesting high school career with two knee injuries, 
surgeries and really um, battled and battled and battled physically, mentally to become the best basketball player that he could be. As our point guard, he's asked to do a lot of things and a lot of pressure was on that young man. And um, it was fun for me to see him um, become his own this year, play freely, um, make the awesome pass, uh, be a great teammate. And um, you know, that hard work that he had to put into not only the classroom, but the athletic part of it of rehab um, from all the injuries uh, really developed a very hard work ethic in this young man. And um, well, he does a lot of things off the court that's fun and interesting and as an entrepreneur. And, and uh, I can't wait to see what's in store for Bryce in the future. So thanks Bryce for all you did for us and uh, thanks for uh, being a great teammate. Aaron Tahar, what a competitor this guy is. Sharp shooter, defensive specialist, always working hard. Uh, he came on my radar when I first saw him as a freshman and I saw a lot of potential in this young man. Um, he has started for us ever since he's been in 10th grade and um, he's just been a big part of great leadership um, throughout his career and especially this year as a uh, senior. Um, again, sharp shooter from the outside, great on defensive end, works hard, but that also gets shown in the classroom as he's above a 4.0 student and uh, when you get somebody that works uh, extremely hard in the classroom and on the court and has high success, the sky's the limit for this young man as, as he moves on to the future. So thank you Aaron for all you've done for Concordia basketball and we wish you nothing but the best. S.A. Hagos. What a gigantic part of our success this year. Um, he was our go-to guy on the offensive end. Um, was highly efficient when he had the ball, shot over 40% from three-point range. Um, averaged over 20 points a game. Set numerous records in CA history. Was the ninth member of the Thousand Point Club. And when you have somebody that can put stats up like this, you're gonna have a good team. Because everybody around him is gonna be better because of it. Um, he started for us every game since his 10th grade year and uh, you know he has a tremendous success ahead of him. He didn't start playing basketball until he was in 6th grade and has made tremendous strides since. Um, we wish S.A. nothing but the best as he goes on and plays, plays college basketball next year and uh, his best years are, are ahead of him. Thanks S.A.